Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's up? This is Papa Bell, and welcome to the channel. Uh, if you'd like, you can join. Uh, I have memberships available. Free 3D prints for masters. Uh, we got apprentice. We've got uh, student, and we got master level. Um, yeah, so come on down. Uh, so what we're doing today is we're using this coil right here with uh, the soft iron core and that's that's the only coil we got hooked up and right now we're running a two magnet spread on the rotor five thirty five point eight rpms at full blast we are running on a reed switch. This is 63.3 volts. And we've got, what was that number again? 5 we'll say 530. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna, now gonna do three, three magnets. Hey, what's up, Caleb? Don't, well, I mean, just be wise. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna stop that and see just two magnets in. All right, I'm gonna fill up, uh, I'm gonna move them around. We're gonna do three now. Be right back. Okay, we're back and we got our 120 degree magnet spread and we're gonna we're going to check the RPMs at full blast with this. And this will start it at like 36. There we go. So I switched the polarity and it looks like it's having a huge effect on this. here yeah that okay so maybe the other polarity is going to be the best for this I can't really tell for sure all right let's give it a little juice all right, here we go. This looks more more like it. Wow. Nice. Okay. Four fifty eight. Oh, it's slowing down. It's probably not a good spot for it. So two was at 500 something, 530. 
about, and that's way rampant. Uh, I'd say about 470. All right, those want to jump out of there with this polarity. So I think I'm going to switch it back. And we'll mark it 470 for uh, the RPMs with three. Yeah, holy cow. Whew, that's definitely not cool. All right. Well, be right back. And we'll switch it up. Um, we'll put four in and we'll reverse the polarity back. Alright, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. I flipped the polarity and I put another magnet in. Let's see what's, what happens now. Now all these tests are just being done with this one coil right here. It's about 2,000 turns of 26 gauge. My bad. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, sorry, I'm trying to find a good spot so I can get a reading. Right, it's probably going to end up going the other way. There we go. Damn, really? Wow, that's pretty far out there. All right, let's get a reading. Here we go. Going all the way up. Five twenty four, five forty four. This might be our best one yet. Five fifty six, nice. I want to <clears throat> get a nice place placement. This isn't it. This is just a, so I can lay it down and do a reading. We'll do like uh, five sixty. Might be five seventy. We'll see. Five sixty, nice. Okay. see what I want to do is I want to put the reed switch adjacent like straight across 180 see what happens that all right I'm gonna try moving this baby around uh, around the wheel here and see if any different placements 
will work better. I like how that coil jumps into action there. This is half the voltage, so I think this is a better spot, but it won't stay there. Got it balanced on something. It doesn't, it's not a good position. Yeah, we're gonna we gave it 560. I need to write all this down. All right, so I'm gonna switch it up to six. I'll be right back. I've decided that I'm gonna leave it at four, and I'm gonna try a different coil. I'm gonna try a 20 and a 16 gauge coil. All right, so uh, I'm gonna shift it, and I'll be right back. All right, so um, we're back. I hope the reed switch up to this coil now, and it's working really, really good. This is 10 volts in instead of 63, and 536. The only problem with this is is that I don't think it responds well to drastic increases in voltage. Switching. All right, so what I think I have to do is um, wind the trigger strand into the whole thing, and that'll give it some added resistance. Because you saw the white arcing or the white plasma discharge into the reed switch is uh, that's a really hot. So we need to switch that up. Hmm. All right, I'll be right back and we'll wrap it up. So far it's four magnets on this coil for efficiency with 10, 10 volts and we're going at virtually the same speed. We did the whole time with this coil at full blast. All right, be right back. Okay, so what I did was I added the 30 gauge to the 20 gauge, and now there's uh, like 666 plus 666, one's 20, one's 30. Bop boom. And this is what we got. We're 33 volts in, nowhere near the speed, but it's a lot safer or won't blow up as easily. Full blast.
it's starting to stick. 560. Alright, let's we turned it down a little bit. We're gonna turn it up a little bit more. 40. We'll take a reading at 40 volts. I tried to keep it all uniform, but it just didn't end up that way. Okay, it's going down in speed. Now it's going up again. But yeah. About 512. So I, I say they're roughly all the same. And that's I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's because of the coil. Till my transistors show up I've got quite a few coming um, hopefully they're all different because the ones that I usually use are gone or temporarily out of stock should be fun to run the the 2x4 circuit that I wanted to run 570 So virtually what it is is you got your cardinal directions and then you got your southeast, northeast, southwest, northwest directions. And they're each going to have their they're going to be series circuit, each going to have their own transistor. And hopefully with the matching transistors they'll be able to sync up and double up virtually like wham wham and I've seen it happen it gets going it's going like 500 and all of a sudden all of a sudden it's going like a thousand like what just happened kind of thing you know and all it is is the them hitting the way they're supposed to but if they're not the same one the one that's uh, can handle less switching is the one that's gonna burn out first <laughs> Because you're switching at an enormous rate at that at that point when they're going really fast like that, and some will get really hot. Some you're not switching fast enough, and it's just that's pretty much all I got. I think that was a good experiment. Uh, it showed that. Well, I mean, for this coil max rate five is like 530 rpms at 63 volts this one the 20 was going like 500 at uh, 10 volts but i blew a reed switch doing that so at 10 volts man so it was it's a 20 gauge coil Nice and short, 666 turns. Just, I went to turn it back on and it was not functioning. I flicked it a couple times just to make sure that it was broken. <laughs> and yeah, okay. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out. Please subscribe. Have a wonderful night. And thank you.